2.65 billion people. That is how many people use Google Chrome every single day. And to put that into perspective, that is almost equivalent to double the population of India, which is 1.38 billion. Yep, that is just absolutely insane. And Google Chrome has a global browser market share of 63.58% across pretty much every device type, which is mad, but it's also currently the primary browser used across the whole internet, which probably means that if you're not watching this video within the YouTube app, you are probably watching it within the Google Chrome browser. And if you're one of these people, just like myself, then you will definitely find this very video super, super helpful. Because I have compiled a list of hacks and tips and tricks that will make your life a heck of a lot easier and will make your Chrome experience as efficient and smooth as possible. Subscribe if you're not already and let's check out the top 10 Google Chrome hacks. Okay, first up, you know that feeling when you're completing a university assessment or a piece of work and you have like countless, countless tabs open for that specific work project? And then if your laptop was like mine, it starts making that super, super loud noise like it's about to take off to go and land in another country? Well, sometimes even shutting Chrome tabs down feels a little bit like a chore, but it's gotta be done. So here's how to shut down all the different active tabs as you go rather than getting to the very last second to shut them all down at once. What you're going to want to do is Command plus W on a Mac or Control plus W on Windows. Next up on the flip side, if you want to quickly open a new tab, what you're going to do is click on Command plus T on a Mac or Control plus T on Windows. And similar to this, you can easily open up a new Chrome window, so like a full window rather than a tab, by doing Command plus N on a Mac or Control plus N on Windows. Seems simple, but honestly, the amount of times I press Command plus T and just don't even think about it anymore, you'd be surprised how much time you'd actually save. Another little tab shortcut that's not built into Chrome, but a really good extension that you can also use is if you're a little bit of a Chrome tab fiend like myself, there's a really good app called OneTab. It's a really good way of managing some of the tabs that you have open and effectively it just funnels them out into a different app so you can open them and review them later. Tip number three, this one is up to you how you want to use it. Maybe you've got a question that you're too embarrassed to ask publicly or hey, you want to test out some new web pages or you want to open something within a window that isn't using any cookies. Well, if you want to quickly open a new incognito window, on a Mac you want to do Command Shift N, or on Windows you want to do Control Shift N. And remember, whatever you decide to Google incognito stays incognito. Number four, if you forget to open an incognito window and want to quickly erase something from your Google history, do not fret. There is no need to destroy any of your phones or laptops or any of your other devices. Now let's get rid of this. What, what do you mean? We'll just delete the files. No, no, no. That can always be recovered. We gotta smash your laptop with a hammer. All you have to do to open up your Chrome history on a Mac, Command plus Y, or on Windows, Control plus Y. And then you can delete whatever you want. Right, this next one saves so much time. Especially when, if you're like me, you have all those different tabs open that I was talking about earlier. And you can actually switch tabs, going from right to left by using Command Option Left or Right Arrow on Mac, or Control Left or Right Arrow on Windows. And if you want the advanced version of this, you can even add a specific number, instead of clicking left or right to move between your tabs, and this will take you to the corresponding tab that you want. And the command that you want here is command plus the number of the tab in the list from left to right on Mac or control plus number on Windows. Now if you have that many tabs open, like me, and you can't even see the logos of the tabs <laughs> and you don't even know the one you're looking for is, here's another trick. You can actually do command plus shift plus A on a Mac or control plus shift plus A on Windows in a recent Chrome version. And what this will allow you to do is search and quickly switch between the different tabs that you have open. So that like, you can just find the tab that you want out of a sea of all the different tabs that you have open. Absolutely dreamy. Do you ever accidentally close a tab and you're like, oh crap, what's that tab that I just had open? No worries. You can click on Command 
plus shift plus T on a Mac or control plus shift plus T on Windows to open up that last tab you closed. And this has saved me so, so many times when I accidentally shut a tab I really needed. Some people, and I would definitely say me included here, describe this as the Command Z or the undo button for Chrome just because it is that helpful. Here's a clever one. Do you ever go on any of those websites that make you log in or require like a paywall before you can actually access the website? Well, there's a really nifty Chrome hack which basically allows you to disable that screen that is showing that kind of paywall, that login screen, so you can actually view that article or that piece of content that you want to view. And what you want to do is head into your Chrome settings as I'm showing on screen and then click on the button to disable JavaScript. And basically what JavaScript is, is a super common web programming language that is used across the internet. And if you disable JavaScript, what will probably happen is that window or that screen that was showing before your content has now disappeared. Now the marvelous hack that I've used, if you want to find out a little bit more insight about a page or a website, is to open up the inspector tool. And this basically allows you to see all the different code that is going on behind the website, inspect specific elements, and if you right click and then do view source, that will load up the full page of the web page that you're viewing. And it was really interesting for me to be able to find out things like what theme are they using if this is like a WordPress website? Or how did they create this website? Is it something that they've coded? Or is it like a Webflow website? And then I can use that for inspiration for myself when I'm creating my own website, which is coming, but slowly, slowly. <laughs> so yeah, super, super useful just to be able to see the code behind that website. And if you're a programmer, you'll probably do this all the time. But for people like myself and maybe yourself who's watching, this is just really interesting to get a kind of look behind the scenes of how the web page was created. And if you're also trying to be a web developer yourself, this is also just useful to get an idea of how other web pages are made. So to get to this tool, you can either right click and it will give you the different options, or you can do Command Shift C on a Mac or Control Shift C on Windows. If you're a bit of a search fiend like myself, and you want to find something specific on a website, like a word, a number, a letter, or literally anything, you can do Command plus F on a Mac or Control plus F on Windows and this opens up the find tool. And it will show up just as a search bar in the top right corner, and now you can type in whatever you're looking for, and it will highlight it on the page, which is really, really useful if you're just trying to find a specific bit of content on a website amongst a sea of other words and paragraphs and blogs and what have you. Is a website showing something in like really, really small text? Well, do not worry. In Chrome, it's got built-in zoom functionality, so what you can do is do on a Mac, Command and then Shift with either a plus or minus depending upon whether you want to zoom in or out. And then Windows is just Control and then plus or minus. So this is super useful if you want to see how something is going to be printed or maybe you're just having trouble reading a particular text on a web page if it wasn't designed super well and the font is like really, really small. There's an extra tip if you want to speed up your searching, you can jump your cursor directly to the search bar by doing Command plus L on a Mac or Control plus L on a Windows. And once you're there, if you start typing for something that is like in a tab that you know that you have open, Chrome is now smart enough to be able to show you that and it'll come up with a little button which says switch to this tab. And I use this like literally 10, 20 times a day when I've forgotten where a tab is because I have about 20 open on four different windows. So you can jump straight to the search bar, type in what you think that tab content has, and then you can do switch to this tab super easily. This last one I've used super recently where I had a web page that was effectively just not loading the recent data. It wasn't like refreshing the content that was on the web page. Basically what happened for some reason or another, I don't know why, but like Chrome or the website had like cached a version of that website into my browser or into the laptop. And effectively what I needed to do was like a hard reload of Chrome or a hard reload of the page. And so how to do this, if this ever happens to you, is you wanna hold down shift and the reload button or do Command Shift R on Mac or Control Shift R on Windows. So there are all the Google Chrome hacks I have for you today. Hope you found this helpful. I've made quite a few other different Google product related videos. So if you've not checked out this one, definitely check out the Gmail hacks video or the Google Calendar hacks video. And if you folks have got any other Google products that you would like me to give a little bit of a rundown or give some tips and tricks as a Google employee, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe if you're not already. Have an awesome day. See ya.